Hey everybody, this is 3 Minute Marketing. And in this video, you know, we're going to talk about how you could further boost your page performance. So how do you test your pages effectively? You know, if you have you might have read uh, in a lot of blogs and a lot of articles, you know, heard in a lot of podcasts and videos that you should always test. So it's not just about your sales page, but you should always just test it. Test whatever it is that you have, and they're right. You should do that, and this is called split testing. Also called A-B testing, but you know when you see, ever see the A-B sign, you call it split testing. And it's a fantastic method, and figure out the best sales page strategies to use. Because not every time, you know, whenever you create a sales page or a landing page, you know, it's, it's going to work perfectly every time. So you need to do some testing. You need to do some checking out and see which one works. All right, because a well-planned split test can make a huge difference in the effectiveness of your sales funnels. All right, so how do you do this? Or, or why do you do this? Because this can improve your bottom line. All right, this can make a huge difference. Now imagine just a 5% boost in sales. And if you're doing a thousand sales that's 50 sales all right if you're doing 10,000 sales that's 500 sales so that's gonna make a difference and of course you need to devote time to test it's not an overnight project so you have to give it time you need to have the patience it may take a couple of days sometimes it may take a couple of weeks and the most important thing test one element at a time all right, to get the full benefits of split testing, make sure to test one element at a time and find out what wins, and then you test another. All right, so some things to test, some elements that you can test out. Headlines, all right, you can change the headlines. You can make a difference. And depending on your audience, you could go full emotional or you could go full logical. So, you know, you could go somewhere in between. Test out the different types. You know, test out which type of message resonates better with that particular audience all right your call to action you know you could you could change the button text you could change the text around the buttons you, know, you could change some graphics around the buttons you know you can put in some arrows pointing to the buttons and stuff like that you know you change the call to action change the link text try first person try third person see which works and of course it's always about what resonates better with your audience all right, graphics. Sometimes you know you you may not realize it, but you know, your button colors matter, or what type of image do you use? Sometimes you know uh, image of of someone uh, with a face. You know it connects more with the audience, or, or you know sometimes a, a mock up, a very good mock up of your product or your service, you know will connect with the audience. So it really depends. But you know you could change those up. So, and then of course copy. You could change out some if you want to do some bullet points. Um, you know if you want to do some more. Uh, if you want to add some more subheadlines, you could definitely do that. And the way you construct it, the way you write it down. All right. So of course bullets, no bullets, uh, uh, check marks instead of points or something like that. So test away and see what works. And just remember the tip that I gave earlier is that. You just test one element at a time. So if you're testing two headlines, so you keep everything the same except for the two headlines and see which one works better. So how it works is, uh, let's say headline number two wins, and then now you use that as your landing page, and then you can now move to the call to actions. So the calls to action, you, you now you could test the same headline, pretty much the same everything, but different calls to action and see which one wins, which one works. And, you know, you, you increment, you slowly grow it, and, you know, you'll see those 2%, 3% uh, growing each and every step. So if you've got four tests, like in this, for this, in this instance, I gave you an example of four steps. So imagine if it's 3% and each time you test, you, you improve by 3%. You know, imagine how... Uh, you know the results uh, the improvement that you're going to be getting all right so i hope that's clear and yeah that's it that's how you test your pages